Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I've got another crock pot recipe for you. Um, I've got my dishwasher going in the background, so that's kind of loud. What I'm gonna do is, we're gonna be making a vegetable beef soup. So good, um, but I kind of have a busy day and I need to kind of get this ready early. So I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna be prepping everything and then putting it in the slow cooker later. Uh, this is not a slow cooker recipe by the recipe, but I'm gonna make it in the slow cooker And I don't think it's something that's gonna take like an all day. I think it's more of like a I don't know Three hour thing is least so that's what I'm gonna do. So I am It's like quarter after 11, but I have to leave my house in about an hour or so and that's just too early for me to get it in the crock pot because we probably won't be eating till dinner till like 9 tonight because we have something going on this evening as well so this is kind of a long explanation, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be home briefly tonight around like six o'clock for just a few minutes. And so I figure if everything is prepped and all I have to do is dump it into the slow cooker, I can put it on high for about three hours and it should be fine. So we're gonna do all of the prepping and chopping now. There's actually not a ton of it, especially if you use frozen veggies, which I'm not, um, it would be even less time, but we're gonna, we're gonna get started. That's enough. <laughs> All right, so if you wanna do this recipe on the stovetop, you can. It's actually a pretty quick one um, as well, but I just need a dinner that is like already done when we come home tonight, because we'll be eating so late. I just wanna come home and it already be hot and everything. So I'm gonna do it in the slow cooker. Um, the only prep work that you have to do really is browning the ground beef. Everything else can just get tossed in, but I'm gonna be using, well, and cu cutting up an onion, but you can even buy frozen chopped onion. So if you want, you could do that route and really have very little prep work, but it's still not gonna be much. Um, so I'm gonna let this brown up and we're gonna get going on our veggies. All right, so both of my larger cutting boards are in the dishwasher. I actually need to um, replace them because, well, I just do. The corners are, the rubber corners that keep them from skidding around are, have fallen off and that creates kind of like some sharp edges. Anyways, I'm gonna chop up one onion and I'm gonna just explain real quick before I keep going because otherwise this is gonna be noisy. I'm gonna chop up one onion and I'm gonna do like two or three stalks of celery even though that is not in the recipe, but I just feel like celery adds good flavor to soup. So we're gonna do that. And I'm just gonna put all of my uh, chopped up stuff in this bowl. I'm hoping it's fine to mix like the onions with some of the other stuff I'm gonna do, but I don't know. I think it will be. I guess we will um, find out. Also, of course, I will have the original recipe linked below. Um, like I said, the original recipe is not a crock pot recipe, um, but you could follow it. It'll still give you the measurements and everything. Oh, I'm sorry. My eyes are burning currently because of this onion and I can't hardly see anything. Um, yeah, I'll have <laughs> that linked for you. Sorry, I like really, um, I'm struggling. Can't see what I'm doing here. Sometimes the onions do that and sometimes they don't, but right now I'm um, cutting, relying on my fingers for a feel because I can't see very much. And there's no point in taking a break because it doesn't really get better. Although once your eyes fill up with tears, it's like the tears are a barrier <laughs> and it's not as bad. So I'm about to have tears running down my face, but it's burning a little less at the moment. Definitely not my neatest chopping job. All right, my ground beef is already almost done. I store my celery in foil and I do find that it lasts a very long time, so something you may want to try. I'm going to save my ends for some veggie stock or some stock of some kind, chicken stock, beef stock, whatever I end up doing, but saving my scraps. Actually, I'm gonna save my scraps and my onions too, I think. And I like to cut my celery up super small, but you know, do it how you want. All right, so it looks like our ground beef is done. I don't really have any uh, grease to drain off, but do that if you need to. And I'm just gonna let this cool because we're gonna have to refrigerate that. So I'm gonna take that off the heat. So the recipe calls for uh, one and a half cups, and that just went fine. 
uh, one and a half cups of frozen ve mixed veggies and one and a half cups of frozen corn. And I'm sending carrot peels all over the floor. Um, I'm gonna save these carrot peels as well for my veggie scraps for the freezer. Um, but I'm going to do three carrots um, and then I'm gonna do a can of corn. I don't have frozen corn. This is like peeling off like tons of little pieces like this, which is why it's flying everywhere. And I'm thinking I'm gonna probably put in some frozen green beans when the time comes. You want about three cups of veggies. So however you wanna do that, I would say just do whatever you want. Frozen, fresh, canned. I would be cautious using canned. Um, like corn is good because corn doesn't really, I don't know, get mushy. But I don't know how well like canned green beans would do. Um, or I think you can get canned carrots. I don't know how well that would do. So I'm gonna chop these up and pick up the veggie scraps that just went all over the floor. So here are my veggie scraps and I'll just pop that in the freezer and keep adding to it until I get around to making some homemade broth of some kind. So here is my onions, my carrots, and my celery. I'm gonna also add in, again, if you're just doing this at the time of putting it in the slow cooker, you're just gonna do this all in the slow cooker, but I'm gonna prep it ahead of time. Also, if you have a slow cooker that you can like switch it to, like set a timer on it and it switches to keep warm, then you wouldn't have the same problem I'm having right now. Anyways, we're gonna add in a teaspoon of basil. I'm doing all this now just to make it as easy as possible for me later. And a teaspoon of garlic powder. That might be more than a teaspoon, but that's okay. All right, it's time to get everything in the crock pot. Spraying that down with some cooking spray. Got the veggies, got the ground beef, got our can of tomato sauce. I'm not pulling out the recipe exactly now just because I don't have a lot of time, but I think I'm gonna fill this can up like about halfway for the broth. I said it was one and a quarter cup. I don't know, I'm not gonna measure it, but I wanna get some more of that tomato sauce goodness, so we're just gonna do that. I think that'll probably be good. I don't know, maybe that wasn't enough. A little more. I'll have the recipe linked. We got one can of corn that I just drained, mostly, because I see a little bit of juice, but for the most part. And we're gonna add some green beans. Yeah, we're just gonna do the whole, whole bag. Take that stem out there. This is a 10 ounce bag. A tablespoon or so of the coconut aminos, or you would use a soy sauce if you'd like and a tablespoon of molasses. Give this a stir. Doesn't look like enough broth at the moment, but I know that there's gonna be some more juice from like the frozen veggies and stuff. So if I have to, I can always add some when we get home, but I am going to go ahead and, sorry, I always forget like that noise is like so loud sometimes on the recording. I'm gonna put this on high for about three hours. All right, so it's been a little over three hours and I'm just going to check. I mean, it's boiling or simmering. I um, guess I should check a carrot. It's probably the last thing to get tender. Feels tender to me and as you can see, there's plenty of liquid, but you could add in more if you want. But um, we're gonna go serve this up. I'm gonna add just a little bit of Parmesan on mine because that sounds good. And there's dinner for tonight. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, depending on if you're on your phone or your computer. I think it looks differently, but give it a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Subscribe if you are new. Uh, oh yes, the dinner was delicious. Definitely recommend the recipe, whether you do it on the stovetop or in the slow cooker, because I, like I said, done it in, on the stovetop previously, and it was delicious, and you can put whatever things you like in it, but it's really, really good. That's it for today's video. See you next time. Bye, guys.